So I never owned the 3D printer, but boy, did I always want one. After seeing a lot of cool things that the community have printed out, like this Deadpool knife holder, this is super impressive. I've seen people print like the Legend of Zelda shield and etc. But instead of printing cool weird stuff, you go to print out a lot of everyday tools and essential stuff that a household will typically need. And so when Flash Forge USA reached out and asked if they could sponsor today's video, I said, heck yeah. And so they actually sent us this 3D printer for us to review. This is the brand new Artemis 3D printer and it's an upgrade from the Finder 2.0. And it has a 4.3 inch touchscreen display, which is an interface that's super easy and user friendly. And once it's doing its thing, it's actually extremely quiet. So for household use or even school use in the classroom, this is pretty quiet. And then the printing volume, the space down here, it's pretty large compared to other 3D printers around the same price tag as its specs are pretty impressive. The volume size is base 190 large by 195 width and the height is about 200. It does come with a glass bottom right here or you can substitute it with a PEI magnetic build plates which both place options come included with the machine. And it has a unique safety feature because if there's ever a blackout during your 3D print the printer is smart enough to resume where it last left off before the blackout. So your 3D print isn't lost in that eight hour or six hours of waiting, you don't have to start over. Now the unit they just send out is indeed blue, but there is a orange color option to choose from as well. So if blue is not your cup of tea, you can always get the orange color. Now this is a Wi-Fi enabled 3D printer. But if you like, you still have access to a USB-A port right here. So you can simply use a flash drive and just 3D print off the storage of the flash drive itself instead of using Wi-Fi. But the cool thing about it being a Wi-Fi printer is that so long as you're in the same Wi-Fi network, you're able to send the data from your computer to the 3D printer and will print right away. But another pro about being a Wi-Fi enabled 3D printer is that this does support cloud printing as well. So if you use like third party sites like Polar 3D, after you create an account, this is compatible and you can let other users have access to your 3D printer around the world, so long as they have internet connectivity. But the main software I personally use is the one that came included with the machine and that is the Flash Forge, which I'll give you a preview on how that looks like. So here's the Flash Forge app. It's really easy to use to be honest, even though it may look complicated. If you just tap on this little model file, you can import the file that you found online or you created yourself and just add it to the list. And here you have the preview of the model. Now on the side here, you have your different tools. You can view it, you can move it around actually and place it in different angles of the platform. You can rotate it, adjust the scale, duplicate it even. And if you like to cut something out of it, you can easily do so right here. And then you also have the capability to add support. Now this is a mistake I made, but some of these 3D prints like this one require support. And when you click on support, you can manually do it or you can allow the software itself to add support automatically. And if some of the support pieces that you integrated you don't like, you can always delete them if you think it's gonna be unnecessary and the machine got it wrong. You could de manually delete it or add some here for your very own. You can select between two different styles to choose from. You have these little crow feet design or standard pillars. But once you're satisfied, you simply just exit out of here, send it to the machine via IP or let it scan your Wi-Fi and it will immediately connect to the machine. But if you like to export it to a flash drive or something, you can always just export it right here. Select the slice preview. Here, we'll give you access to additional data. The most important one is the right side right here, as you, it'll actually show you the estimate material you'll be using, as it's pretty advanced to let you know how much you'll need to complete the print. And in case it does run out, it's also smart enough to pause and stop so it doesn't ruin the pre-print as it will be able to automatically detect as soon as it runs out so you have time to insert some more and the extruder the thing you're looking at on top can go up to 260 degrees and the compatible filaments basically this is the list right here it supports pla abs hips petg and tpu 95a and then don't worry 
out of the box, it does come included with two large rolls of Fiddleman, one in black and one in white. And to this very day, I haven't yet ran out. And if you wish to customize this down the line, you can swap nozzle with different nozzle ends. So you're not limited. Now, after 30 days of using this 3D printer, it's pretty fun. So at first I was 3D printing a bunch of weird stuff. Like currently at the time of making this video, I'm working on this Pokemon chess set. I have this link in the description as well alongside with the printer. So if you'd like to also 3D print this, you're more than welcome to do so. And the attention and detail, it's not bad. Now I'm pretty sure I could just do fine tweak even more, but instead of doing fun stuff, I also 3D print some essential items I need in my household, like a sponge tray. This is 3D printing, and I've been using this as my kitchen sponge tray for a couple weeks now, it's holding up strong. One time I misplaced my bottle opener, so I 3D print a domo, and here it is, and it works really well. And the community is really creative because you just utilize a penny, so it simply attaches, and you can pop basically your bottles. So this is what I mean. This street printer is basically becoming into an essential household tool, in my opinion, because I've been able to 3D print a bunch of stuff that I just needed. And this is just in there. If there's a tool or a part that I'm missing or something that broke, even in the automotive industry side, like these little trim piece bolts, before I had to go to the Chevy dealership to replace these. Little did I know, the community on ThinkGiver, that's a great website I highly recommend. You can basically find things for pretty much anything. So I found these little bolt replacements and I could 3D print it in the comfort of my household. And then one time I was really tired of constantly having my hydro flask roll around in the vehicle with me. So I found this 3D print of a converter that allows me to convert my regular cup holder and utilize it so I can actually use my hydro flask and this is the end result and so far it's holding up extremely well. So I've been finding accessories for not just the household but also for my cars, especially on my Tesla. You could 3D print basically anything. So for my daily usage with this 3D printer, the hype of 3D printing is real and it's not just for fun, it's an essential household tool, honestly. Oh, and don't worry, if you don't like this LED to remain on, I like the fact that this 3D printer is fully customizable. You can turn that off right here on the display or via its software on the computer and it still blows my mind how this 3d printer operates every time i have this thing creating something it's just memorizing viewing it so it's definitely really cool aside from that that's my review of the artemis 3d printer it's pretty cool i like the blue color but again it's all personal preference it's good to know that an orange color option is also available so if you're curious to find out more about this product i'll be sure to include their link as well as where you can find this product in the video description down below. So if you'd like to find out more, make sure to check out those links in the description. Aside from that, thank you Flashforge for sponsoring today's video and giving us this opportunity to check out a 3D printer on this channel. Even after this video, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna feature this product a lot more in this channel. So if you're a 3D printer enthusiast, make sure you stick around by hitting that subscribe button as I plan on making more 3D printing videos, covering a lot more cool stuff like home essentials, car accessories, and etc. So make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss those type of videos. Aside from that, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, you know what to do. Greatly appreciate if you can actually leave this video a like. Those help me out a lot. And get subscribed, especially if you enjoy a lot of tech videos just like this. If you'd like to watch more, check out this video over here. That is a video that YouTube is recommending specifically for you. Let me know in the comment section if the YouTube algorithm was correct or not. I'm curious how that thing works. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, and I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.